What's up boys and girls, it's me Blanche. I'm on a road trip with the family. We got a couple of caravans and we are headed over to Anaheim, California. My brother-in-law told me all about this bakery called El Amir and apparently they have the most amazing baked goods that you would eat like in a typical Arabic breakfast. So I'm really excited. I've been waiting to check out this place for a long, long time and I'm gonna show you exactly what we find, all the treasures that we find. And uh, yeah, we're headed on our way. And we're supposed to have some kinafa too. So don't miss this episode. You guys gotta tune in. Just to give you guys some perspective of where we are, we are in the Brookhurst area of Anaheim. So apparently this is where there's a massive Arab population. And I saw that yeah, these streets way. were lined with bakeries, falafel shops, and shawarma shops. So this one is particularly popular. So I'm gonna show you exactly what they have. So as you can see here, their specialty is uh, basically flatbread. So they have za'atar, za'atar cheese, they have it with eggs, with meat. And I'm just loving the smell of the za'atar in here. That's the first thing that hits you. So I think we're gonna zone in definitely on, on the za'atar pizzas or flatbreads. 20 minutes later. Okay, so my mom took the first bite of sambusek. What's inside, mom? It's uh, meat and looks like onions and pine nuts. Oh, oh wow, look at that. that yeah, that looks bad. very tender onions and meat right there. It's delicious, the meat is really very tasty. And mm -hmm. then you've got msabaha, um, which is like ah, hummus. But they have whole chickpeas in there. Uh, food with demas, which is fava beans. I love the artistic way they present the uh, Lebanon cheese. It, they kind of piped it like it was frosting. And of course, hummus with everything. And here's the cheese pie. Two cheese pies. Feta cheese and flat bread. What's that, mom? That's it's almost like the one I make, but it's very, very good. Tomatoes and onions. So this is flatbread with lahma. Looks like they put meat and tomato. Sometimes they put tahini, sometimes they don't. We'll try. Yeah, no tahini, just like meat and tomato. So it's got like a nice clean flavor. And here we have the zaatad pizza. Or zaatar flatbread, look at that. Thin crust, super crispy. Olive oil, you see the olive oil layer right there. I'll show you a close up of the cheese pies. Feta cheese, that looks amazing. Can you just take a bite of this right now? So, this is the egg and cheese. It looks like they combine the egg and the cheese together. The bread is insane with all the dips. You just go crazy. There's a hummus dip right here. And Unbelievable. Super tender bread right out of the oven. You guys have to come here to Amir's Bakery when you come to Brookhurst in Anaheim. So good. We're going to be working on What do you think, bread. guys? Yeah. These are little arugula pies. These are super hot and piping. Look at that. There's. Oh. Mm. So delicious. They put like some mac, red pepper, arugula. Different flavor. For the men at each, I always like to take the ones with the burnt edges. Look at that. Because they're the crispiest. Look at that zaatar with all the sesame seeds. It's like nutty and crunchy and salty. Mm. What do you think? 
<laughs> okay, so after eating all of that bread, we are going to have Kanafa now. Yes, this is the epic cheat day, and we are finishing it off here at Kanafa Cafe. And apparently, the bakers here are from Nablus, Palestine, so this better be really good. This is the Kishna Knafa. Look at, let's see the crackly outside and the cheese on the inside. Oh, and it's stretchy, guys. This is, oh, here we go. I don't know what it is about people from Nablus, but they know how to make the stretchiest cheese Knafa. Look at that. Mm. How many did you order? Perfect amount of sweetness, super crunchy, equal amount of cheese and dough. So, when you guys are in Anaheim, if you don't want to travel to the Middle East and you want to get really authentic food, go to Kanafa Cafe for the Kanafa and hit up Amir's Bakery. And if you do, send me pictures, tag me on Instagram, and tell me what you think. Dough that is shredded more finely. <laughs> she likes it. Now that we were all in a food coma, our last stop on this gut busting foodie adventure is Harvest Fresh Market. I love this place because while they have all the grocery staples, they also have an ethnic food selection with fresh as well as packaged foods from all over the world. So what's cool about being in Brookhurst is any kind of supermarket you go into, you will find a gem of a bakery that sells Arab pastries. Let me show you what I'm talking about, you guys. Like, this is incredible. Kushetti we made, the Egyptian Kushetti, they even have it instant style. So instead of cup of noodle, cup of Kushetti. They're doing it. Everybody's doing it. And get this, if you want to make some of the baked items I've done on my channel, like Besbusa, which is a semolina cake, they have them in mixes here so that it's ready to go with hazelnut or coconut. They even have omali, Egyptian bread pudding. That is so cool. Okay, back at home base, the condo that we are renting for the week. And I can't tell you how much I enjoyed our experiences today, just discovering new markets, new places, new restaurants, and rekindling those memories of amazing foods that we had all throughout the Middle East. They make them just as good here in Southern California. So if you live in Southern California and you wanna try authentic Arab food, just hit up the places I just mentioned and there are plenty more. Trust me, Brookhurst is a haven for incredible Middle Eastern food on the west side. On the east side, you go to Dearborn. On the west side, check out Anaheim. It does not disappoint. Now, a lot of you have been asking me, Blanche, where are your videos? Are you posting anymore? And I'm like, yes, I am. I'm trying to post consistently every Saturday. For some reason, people aren't getting notified. So if you please hit that notification bell so that you can get my videos. I try to post every Saturday. And if you want to learn how to make kanafa at home and you want my mom and I to share our personal recipe, hit like. If I get 1,000 likes on this video, my mom and I will share our recipe. Thank you for joining me on my foodie vlog today. It was nice to just get out and take a road trip and want to shake things up and share it with all of you. And I will be back soon. <music>